Women are the Grihadipta Yaha, that is, the light of their homes, and they are also their Lakshmi, that is, the embodiment of prosperity of their homes. Women are the means for progeny, and as such, they are considered to be very fortunate. Therefore, they should be respected by all. A teacher of the Vedas is ten times more venerable than an ordinary teacher. A father is one hundred times more venerable than the teacher. But a mother is one thousand times more venerable than the father. Swami Dayanand declared that the Vedas were not a monopoly for the pundits, but were meant for all, including women. He said, let the females acquire knowledge, and let them study the Vedas. Since ancient times, there were both male and female rishis. Today there exists both Pandit and Pandita. Swami Dayanand Saraswati was a keen advocate of women's liberation long before it was introduced into the Western world. In that society where women are oppressed and abused, unfavorable conditions prevail, but where they are honored and respected, that society prospers. According to the Vedas, the word Dampati means two masters of one house. Therefore, both husband and wife are equal partners. Also, both husband and wife enjoy the same prestige, power and position in society. Women are worthy of worship. They are blessed and virtuous. They are the lights of their homes and are really said to be the embodiment of domestic prosperity. Therefore, they should be specially protected. Pujaniya Mahabhaga Punyascha Grihadiptaya Striyaha Shriyo Krihasyo Tastasmad Raksha Visheshataha Pujaniya Mahabhaga Punyascha Grihadiptaya Striyaha Shriyo Krihasyo Tastasmad Raksha Visheshataha